Hey guys, Anthony here. We're going to do a review today on this 55 liter dry bag uh, by Ronstan. Uh, it's labeled a dry sailing bag, uh, but I'm using it for a sample tonight. We're going to show you what we have our, um, when I'm in a more detailed interview, what we have our go bag items packed in. So basically it's a roll down duffel. It's around 30 inches high when it's opened by about 20 inches wide by about 13 inches deep. Those are rough, rough measurements. Um, it's got welded, welded construction, has an external pocket right here. It's got 55 liter capacity. It's got a side carry handle to carry it like a duffel. It's got a full pack harness. It's got padded shoulder straps right here. It's got an adjustable chest strap, which is right here. It's adjustable. Your, your also your pads for your backpack uh, shoulder straps here are removable. So you could actually remove this whole harness system and tuck it away inside the pack and just carry it like a duffel. It's got a large opening for easy uh, packing. When this opens up, it's a huge wide mouth opening. It's got a large external accessory pocket, which is here in the front, right here. Holds a lot of gear. I have a lot of stuff packed in there. It's got a mesh drink bottle pocket, which is right here. Um, I have something else and I have toilet paper and gloves in it now, but you could put a water bottle in it. Um, it's got adjustable side straps for cinching on the sides of the pack. One at the top, one at the bottom. On this pack you see I have my Rothko canteen kit holder just mollied onto the strap there. And then there's cinch straps on the other side, top and bottom as well. Um, so again, you could, you could cinch items to those straps too. I have this uh, Gerber saw uh, attached as well. Demen uh, I went over the dimensions. Now we're going to go through uh, what, I, what I did was I packed out uh, some gear uh, for a, uh, you know, a one to three day hike and I packed it inside this bag. So this is really like a go bag right now or an EDC bag. And what we'll do is when we come back, we'll just unload the pockets and let you see what's in here. Okay, be right back. Okay, on the side of the pack, external. Canteen kit, SOG Tomahawk, just thrown in through the cinch strap. The other side of the pack, Gerber uh, folding saw. Toilet paper, work gloves. In the front pocket, exterior pocket, which is right here. And it's about, I didn't measure it, but it's about, uh, looks about, you know, 15 inches by about 8 inches wide. And it opens up just about halfway down, so you can roll it down. You can see the, the nice heavy duty PVC here, uh, giving you the water resistance. In this pocket, uh, I'm not going to go into detail on every single item that's in here. Just to, I just wanted to show you the amount of items it could hold. My Pathfinder uh, bottle and cup set that I just did a brief video on the other day. Uh, really good piece of kit here. Um, Bear Grill survival kit, NOAA, NOAA radio. A lot of this stuff's packed in uh, Ziploc bags to give some added protection from moisture. You know, my scenario with this bag would be, you know, a, a torrential rainstorm, um, getting the bag wet, falling into a canal or somewhere in the Everglades, getting it wet uh, on a camping trip down here in South Florida. So the, the key here is to keep my items uh, as dry as possible. Uh, fire starter, compass, uh, multi-tool in this bag. This is a um, beverage kit, assorted teas and things, things like that. Pens, 
markers, sharpies, and a notepad stacked away. Again, slingshot band, matches, platypus folding water bottle, uh, some dryer lint. Again, all these items that you see here are, are in this front pocket, including the bottle. So, oh, one more thing. A little uh, CR-123 battery holder holds four CR-123 batteries, and that's for my water uh, purifier. So that's your front pocket. You also got a key clip here. It gives you some information inside the uh, inside here about the bag, instructions for use, and that's your front pocket. Okay, another quick look at the items from the front pocket. All right. We're back. Now, what you do basically is you unclip your clip back here. And I had this bag folded down three times. And that's what they recommend to give you the water resistance that you need. Then there's a Velcro inner holder. And when you see this bag open, you can see how, how wide this bag opens. Uh, to fit items down into. And if I pack, if I took a lot more time packing this, I could have got some more stuff in here. But um, for this video, I just wanted to give you an idea of what I had packed in here. So what I'll do is I'll pull out the items that I have in here and we'll just, um, I have a, another dry bag by Seal Line. It's a clear bag and that has numerous items in it. We'll get back to that in a minute. That's a seal line bag. I have a food bag with my food in it, some mountain house food, some MREs, some cliff bars, um, some drink mixes, uh, just a, a bunch of assorted uh, food and a um, leak proof uh, bag here. This is actually a lock sack. I'll lay that there. Next item is a lightweight dry bag. And again, these are bags within the bag, so it's easy to find my gear. And in this green bag, I have a complete set of clothes. Pants, socks, t-shirt, underwear, etc. So I know that in the green bag, is my change of clothes. And again, tucked away nice and neat inside the bag. Next, a small, another small dry bag. And this has some various uh, incidentals in it like um, bandanas, wash rags, uh, microfiber towel, um, things like that. Okay, so that's in here. Then I have a, a bag just like you'd buy at a you know at a five and dime store zippered bag. Actually, this is one you put on your your visor in your car. I made a hygiene kit out of it. So in this bag is my hygiene item: soap, shaving cream, razors, um, anything for hygiene is in this bag. So all my stuff is nice and organized within here. Then at the bottom of the bag, I have my DD Frontline Hammock, which is my shelter system, and that's complete with mosquito netting, uh, all the cordage I need, uh, the straps, everything is within this uh, bag here, so my hammock sleeping system. And then I have, last but not least, my DD 3 meter by 3 meter tarp with pegs, cordage, everything I need to pitch this tarp. So, that's everything that was inside this wide mouth portion of this bag. And there's a, there's a look down inside of it. The bag's pretty massive, just a, you know, top loading. You get a lot of gear in here. Um, you know, the only other thing I, I probably would add to this bag is maybe, uh, down here in Florida, I have a sleeping bag, but I really don't need a sleeping bag. 
uh, most of the year. I could get away with either my wool blanket or a fleece blanket to sleep inside my hammock. So most everything I, I need is packed in here. And again, in, in this bag is first aid, my flashlights, my catadine, uh, water filtration system, uh, my sleeping pillow, just a bunch of assorted items, uh, mosquito repellent, all within this 20 liter seal line bag. So this bag was within this bag. Okay, and this is another, this is a bag I, I demonstrated a while ago, uh, washing my clothes in. So again, these bags have multi uses. So I'm going to spread this stuff out and give you a glimpse of what was inside the bag. Okay, there you have it. Here's a lineup of the items that were inside the main compartment. Alright, thanks for joining us. Appreciate your support. This bag can be found in West Marine. I'll put the link on the website or on the video. And it's 60 bucks for this bag. I think it'll make a really good water uh, proof kit for you. Okay, thanks for joining me. Take care.